Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we have an exciting topic. We're covering a brand new PDF editor called Indigo PDF. So we're gonna be doing a detailed overview of this software. We're gonna cover how to get it, how it works, and we'll cover a little bit of demo as well. Before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so Indigo PDF offers some pretty unique features for handling PDF documents. With minimal effort, you're able to combine, divide, or transform your PDF documents. And we'll show you guys what we're referring to specifically in a little bit. Now, one of the main things that we're gonna talk about right off the bat is that Indigo PDF is going to prioritize security. The software is never going to retain files, monitor activity, or collect any data. It operates entirely on your own computer, guaranteeing your privacy and giving you complete control over your data. All right, so with all of that out of the way, let's see how we can get this application and let's see how we can use it. All right, so I'm on my desktop here, Windows 11. Uh, I'm just gonna open the Microsoft Store and we're gonna search for Indigo PDF. Now, one of the first things to mention is that Indigo PDF Tools is completely free. There is a paid version available and we'll talk about what those features are, but the free version in and of itself is very capable and still a wonderful tool. So feel free to go ahead and grab this directly from the Microsoft Store and I'm gonna open it up and we'll take a look. All right guys, so jumping into the software, we're gonna work our way from the top all the way to the bottom. and We're gonna just highlight some of the really cool features that we think we should show you guys. Um, we'll kind of show you how the software works in general. So let me start by signing back out. This is what you'll see when you launch Indigo PDF. All we have to do is sign in with our credentials. If you have yet to create an account, we can register here. So we'll go ahead and sign in. All right, so here is the home page. Now we have different categories of operations. So we have multi operations where we're doing multiple things at once. And then we have page uh, convert security miscellaneous. Okay. We've got different groups where different tools are going to fall under. At the top, we've also got some kind of sort of quick access things where we can get to our page operations here, uh, convert security miscellaneous. So again, we have the same menu pretty much at the top if we want to go that route. Uh, here we have favorites. I can favorite any of the tools by actually clicking on that little star button. Here we have a dark mode or a light mode. I personally prefer the light mode actually, but uh, we have the choice. We have English, Great Britain, or US in the language options. And then we have a few settings up here in the gear icon. And then lastly, we have search. So we can search for any of the specific features we're looking for and instantly access it. All right, if we wanna sign out, we can do that again from the gear icon um, settings menu. So we could sign out there. And lastly, we can click the Indigo PDF logo at any time, just like you're on a website. So if I click into the uh, split tool, I can go back here to get back to the home page. All right, so that's some basic navigation of the app. Let me show you guys a few of the features and how you can quickly start editing your PDFs. So the multi-tool here is a pretty big one. We'll start with that. Uh, we have a file name, which this will show up once we've imported our file. Then we have a download button. So I'll go ahead and grab a PDF for example's sake. All right, so I've got a project proposal pulled up in here. Let's say, for example, I just wanted to show uh, the first page. Okay, so I want production and the cover page. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this little trash icon to delete the post production page. This is my new PDF, and I want to call it new proposal, and I can download that. Boom! Instantly downloads as a new PDF document which I can go ahead and open this and there we go. Now, a couple other things we can do inside of the multi-tool, we can rotate the pages easily. Uh, we can change the order of them. Again, we can remove, which we just did. So we'll go back into the home page and explore some of the other features. Now, a lot of these are somewhat self-explanatory, so we're not gonna show you every single one, but we'll show you the notable features that stand out. So any of the convert tools are pretty awesome. We can convert things to or from PDF documents. 
which is a really handy tool, especially if you're using uh, like a Microsoft Office suite or whatever the case may be. For example, in the convert, we'll show you guys image to PDF. So you can choose any image file. Uh, let's go ahead and grab my logo. And let's say in this case, I want to maintain the aspect ratio. And I also want grayscale. Uh, let's see what happens. All right. So here is what was originally an image. And as we can see, it's filled to the edges of the page, but maintaining the aspect ratio. And it's a PDF document. So um, pretty simple to use. And much of the uh, other convert options will work in a pretty similar fashion. Now, the page operations will be similar to the multi-tool that we showed you guys, but on an individual level. And we have some other features here. Uh, in the security options, we'll show you guys uh, what this looks like. We can add a password to our PDF. So for example, um, I'll do that new proposal that we just created and I'll put in a password. Go with 40 for the compatibility. And I'm gonna go ahead and check all these boxes. I just wanna prevent everything. So we're gonna encrypt this and download it. Now, as we can see, when I open this, it is password protected and I can't do anything unless I know the password and enter it successfully. Now we have some other cool features in the security section. Uh, we can remove the password. So let's go ahead and see what that does. Now, as we can see, it's gonna require us actually know that password and then it will successfully remove the encryption now we can also change permissions we can add a custom watermark sign with certificate um, but unique to indigo pdf is this tool called sanitize so clicking into sanitize i don't have a good example at the moment of actually um, removing these things but we can remove javascript actions we can remove embedded files remove metadata remove links or remove fonts and it's going to do this all automatically. So that's why the feature is called sanitize. I'll just, I'll click on uh, remove fonts just so you guys can see. We'll do the same one that we've been using. And let's go ahead and see uh, what this looks like now. It's going to look all sorts of crazy. As we can see, this document has had the fonts and scripts removed. Auto redact is also a cool feature in security. And then lastly, we have miscellaneous. Uh, the OCR feature is a personal favorite of mine. I've actually downloaded and uh, installed entire softwares dedicated to just this feature. So this is going to detect uh, text from images. Like, for example, if you have a JPEG with some text on it and you want to be able to like copy and paste it or edit that text, you can't if it's an image file. But the OCR will scan the text and it'll convert it into text, if that makes sense. So very, very cool uh, tool. OCR is very powerful. Now we also can add an image. We can compress uh, to reduce the file size, extract images, uh, flatten, sign, slash split scanned photos. We can change the metadata, so that's pretty cool. We can change, remove, or add metadata from a PDF document. Uh, we can repair a corrupt file or attempt to repair. Remove blank pages, remove annotations. We can compare, so if you have two documents that are similar, going to show us the differences. Uh, we can add page numbers. We can auto rename a file based on its detected header. So like if you quickly wanted to uh, rename something, you could just literally just go in here and it would do it for you really, really fast based on what it thinks is the title. We can get all the information possible on a PDF. We can show the JavaScript and add a stamp. So all of the tools are user friendly and relatively easy to use. And it's a really good design overall. I like being able to access any of the tools from any part of the page. Uh, and yeah, I think it overall works really well to be grouped into categories. If you guys want to see other videos in terms of the differences between the paid and the free version, as well as why we believe this to be the best free PDF editor on the market, check the description. We'll put some links to those videos as well. So that's going to do it for the overview and we'll cue the outro. If you'd like to see any of these features in specific or if anything stands out to you, drop that in the comment section below and we'll make sure to add it to our list. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. You can also find the link to Indigo PDF tools in the description. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.